or what have your thoughts been overnight? No, I, you know, we, we talked about this yesterday. It's just, uh, like I said, we stood united with uh, a lot of teams in baseball um, about, you know, making a change and uh, that won't ever change. Uh, in my mind, uh, we have to get better. This country has to get better and uh, uh, respect for everyone. And that's what we hope happens. And like I said, our team, the twins, uh, both teams decided this and it was a good thing standing up for you know, equality. And that's what we did. Thanks, Guardy, and good luck today. Thank you. Thanks, Trevor. We'll go next to Chris McCoskey from the Detroit News. Hey, Guardy. Um, in baseball sense, what, uh, kind of a, a good unintended consequence of yesterday was kind of got your bullpen back in, back in order, huh? That day off, was, it felt like you might have been in a, in a bad way going into that game yesterday with how much you used your bullpen. Well, yeah, it all depends on how the starter does. The, yeah, if seven, Maddie, seven innings, though. It just may have had a little rough time, yeah. Our bullpen was definitely beat up and used. So uh, if there's, you know, a positive about it for baseball wise, that would be it. We got a day day rest and who knows what's going to happen today. I think it's supposed to rain all day. I, I just don't know what's going to happen here. So um, we're just going to play it by ear here and see what happens and uh, uh, try to do as much as we can. But, you know, like I said, it did help us a little bit in that respect as far as our bullpen goes another day. Can I can I ask you to clarify um, just your intentions for for the closer role because you know talking to Cisnero and talking to Buck maybe that's just you know they 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 want the ball maybe that's they're, they're talking sounded like they think they're the guy but it's it's definitely a matchup situation right how how you're gonna yeah, play yeah yeah Soto's involved in it too and it could be Brian Brian too I mean we're just gonna try to go through the the biggest parts of the lineups and and uh, just kind of ad lib with it and and also. Still trying to get him his him and as his innings and get him on the right track going because we know the guy can close out games. He's just got to get that confidence back. Right. Uh, last thing from me, uh, with with a month left of the season, in terms of how you're playing guys and, and is the emphasis still going to be on getting guys in games or are you going to try to maybe get a set lineup and just kind of roll through this last month and see how how much of a charge you can you can put into this thing? Well, when you're I mean, we have a few more days off, but when you're playing as many games as we are, you have to use everybody. We've got this roster built uh, to see these young kids and play them all over the place and trying to figure out ways, you know, at the third base situation to make sure those guys get plenty of bats, but it is winning ball games. We're, we're in a situation where, you know, we can have some fun here and we're going to try to win ball games and put the best lineups out there on any given day against that pitcher. Thank you, Ron. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chris. We'll go next to Jason Beck from MLB.com. Morning, Gardy. Um, I was wondering, do you guys get an extra player for this doubleheader? And if so, have you guys called anybody up for the day? Yeah, we have got an extra. Well, no, we didn't. I, I think we could have. No, we, we do. We've got enough. We haven't announced that yet. Chad's yelling at me right now because he wants to be the guy that gives you that. And so now I'm not allowed to say it. I, we, we were talking about that last night and uh, got it set up. But Chad Crunk and his little department have decided no. I can't say anything. He's pointing at me right now, guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to get you in trouble there. You tried. So, uh, but um, last question from me, just, you know, the timing coming back to play and obviously MLB celebrating Jackie Robinson Day today, just kind of the, over, the overall theme, how much you hoping this creates some awareness just among the, the general public and, and among fans too, of just what's, well, I, I think on here and how far we have to go. Yesterday, yesterday was something that we all felt, you know, we needed to take a stand on. And now, you know, with Jackie Robinson day to day, that, that's that's always a special day. Um, um, and it goes kind of hand in hand with what we're talking about right now. Uh, and we talked about yesterday about, you know, um, you know, and it's, it's uh, I've always enjoyed this day, putting on number 42. Uh, and, and you hear the stories of what he went through. Uh, can only imagine uh, how that would have been, uh, watching those movies of, of him and uh, just seeing how a special person and how he handled everything and what he went through um, to make a 
build a path for other black players uh, and other people of color to be able to play base, Major League Baseball. And he set the tone. Um, and that's, that's really important to, to this country and to baseball in general. Uh, what this did, what, what Jackie went through to give every, other, other players a chance. Uh, so it's a, it's a cool day, a really cool day. Thank you, Gardy. So now Chad says that I can announce that Demerit's <laughs> going to be here. He just said, it, it's good. It's okay now. So Demerit's coming up for the games. Okay. Thank you.